Hey, how you doing? Hey, this is Admin from uh, PlexGuide.com. So we're just doing a quick video um, on the unencrypted R clone. Um, like I said, I'm getting good feedback, so hopefully I'm doing something right here. Uh, like anything, like you hear in all the videos, you know, subscribe, share, like the video. Um, it does actually help build up the community, and it does help promote us on YouTube. So you know, if you find information useful, uh, please feel free to help us out. So anyways, uh, here's our website. So basically what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be working on the unencrypted version of our clone, which is the version that's a lot easier to work with. Uh, the reason for it is, is because you only have to complete one step. Your data is very obvious when you go to your Google Drive. And uh, yeah, it's just a lot easier to use. So let me head over to Google Drive. So drive.google.com. Let me just make sure I got everything good to go there. That's the thing is, in the end, we're just going to make sure that everything's working. So here, you can see that we have some generic files in our Google Drive. Just make sure you have something because when you hook up your Google Drive um, via our clone, you just want to make sure to test it out. So the first thing before you run this is you may ask, well, why am I running our clone if I'm using Plex Drive and Union and FS and everything? Well, it's a little bit of a complicated setup. Um, you might have to watch like the uh, special video to feature on Union FS, but long story short, what our clone is doing for you here is it is all it is doing is it's just moving your files from your local drive to your Google Drive. If you have Windows, you know you did good sync. It's it's really accomplishing the same thing. So um, it's fairly simple to use. Um, we have services that deploy for you, so you don't have to worry about moving your files. So, um, and again, when you have your files move, you'll be able to see it easily show up in your Google Drive. And then, like I said, you can do a quick test and test out something. So let's bring up Plex Guide here. So right now I have uh, Plex Guide already installed on the machine. So all I have to do is do Plex Guide. And uh, again, this is using a Hertzner Cloud. So basically what this allows us to do is to be able to get in the system and uh, test everything out. Alrighty, so let's bring up Plex Guide. And here you can see we've got a variety of options. So you're gonna go to our clone, our clone. And what you don't realize here is that me and my battle buddy, we spent about a good two weeks uh, coding this piece out. Uh, you have the ability to switch between encrypted and unencrypted. If you do switch to encrypted, make sure uh, that you can figure that portion. If you go from encrypted to unencrypted, you don't have to worry about it. So, but anyways, this is the unencrypted, so you're not too concerned about it. So you're going to make one new remote. So again, what most people have problems with is because they don't really read the stuff. Um, I kind of had the same problem uh, when I first started. So um, you got to read everything carefully. I try to make the instructions elaborate as I can for you, including this lovely video. So the biggest problem here is when people first start, they do not name their Google, you know, their drive G drive. You have to name it G drive. Now for your own R clone purposes, projects, you don't have to, but the way everything works in our program, it has to be tree drive. There's no way um, I can automate this for you. Uh, as I mentioned in the other video that was encrypted version, uh, it's very important to pay attention to this Google Drive selection right here. Do not get confused and, and, and select number nine. You'll get a bunch of extra options that will confuse the living daylights out of you. So make sure you pick number 10. Um, be aware, and I, and I did put a warning that uh, just to pay attention in case because um, um, the versions of our clone do change. So, you know, a few months ago, you know, you ended up picking nine. So, so now we got the right version of our clone. So anyways, um, make sure that you have your Google drive API key already set, um, from, um, Google drive enterprise. So, um, you're gonna have two pieces. Make sure that these numbers do not leak on the internet because if these numbers do leak, it is like uh, giving somebody the keys to your hard drive. So this doesn't matter because after this video, I'll toss these away. You can regenerate them over and over again, but for what you're doing, that's something you don't want to do. So make sure that you keep a copy somewhere. And if you're ultra paranoid, hey, you know, hackers can be on your computer and be sniffing out keys. You never know. So it's really up to you on how secure you want to make this. So let's take a Plex guide here. And so we're going to type a uh, storage. So we did say 10. So here's the Google ID. So let's take that. If you're using a Mac computer or a Linux computer, copy and pasting is no problem. If you're using a Windows computer, please make sure to look up the proper shortcuts. It is not your traditional control C. If you do that or you right click on the PuTTY terminal, you will have all kinds of issues and you have to restart this process over and over again. So just be aware of that. 
So uh, you're going to see this part about the JSON file. I think I this was new, but I just want to make sure. Yep, OK. So I just press Enter. And then from there, you're, it's going to be a headless machine because I'm not currently on my machine. Unless you're like sitting on your actual machine, just hit N. If you don't know what the heck you're doing, I don't know. You can do N. So because all you're doing is you're taking this and you're copying and pasting this. Again, if you're using a Windows machine, you, when you right click like this, uh, it's not going to work. It's going to duplicate itself and sometimes select, uh, like I said, you'll find out for yourself. Okay, so let's go ahead and paste this here. And what we're going to do is we're going to verify our account. That's what these keys do. Provides you ultra safe security, supposedly. And then there's a the verification code that generates. You know, this is all a confusing process for me many months ago. Configure this as team drive. No, you'll never configure this as a team drive, not for the purposes of Plex Guide, because Plex Drive does not support it. Um, down the road, hopefully, our clone eliminates it altogether. So, yes, this is going to be good. And that is it. So, when you quit, this is critical. When you quit, it's going to run a series of steps. So, there's encrypted services and unencrypted services. So, you notice here it talks about unencrypted, encrypted. So, we set it up where you can kind of switch back and forth between two, as I mentioned earlier. So if I want to see if everything's working, to help you, we have info troubleshoot menus um, if you want to check on your services. And then, you know, if you learn some of the commands, you can check right away, too. So view service status. And then, like I said, my partner in crime, she worked hard to provide this menu interface and provide this information. So right now, you can tell that, uh, let's see, what are we looking at? Did we do Union FS? So there's Plex Drive 4, so we're not doing Plex Drive. Um, we're doing our clone and okay so unencrypted our clone so that's a good sign that means it works um, you also want to check the unencrypted move not part of this video but this is the part that syncs um, well later on it actually will become part of it but and here's union fs so when you see this like uh, exit failure sometimes it's it, you're okay the reason this failed right now is because we don't have Plex Drive 4 set up that that's beyond the scope of this video so you don't have to worry about that so the key thing is that you have to check is to make sure that your unencrypted R clone is working and your unencrypted move is working because those are your meat and potatoes for your stuff moving um, so the way I could check on it and this is just if you know basic things you type CD mount G drive and, you know I try to line up all the the names. We first did Plex Guide, I think four. I think some of you, if you've been around for a while, we called it our clone. There, the name scheme was crazy. The permissions are crazy. Things are running in root. So you notice that I type Mountain G Drive, and I'm perfectly able to see all my stuff here. Perfect. You know, books, works, cat, encrypted. It's the same stuff that you saw in this video here. So that means you know it works. So if I in this drive, because I'm technically directly in you know, it's a mount because I'm technically hooked up to my G drive. If I type uh, touch, you know, you know, means to make it dog TXT, right? Now it should show up. And then if I refresh, yeah, okay, let's say you didn't have to even refresh, but I think you get the idea there. So we know it's working, but again, you don't want to have your Plex directly hook up to your mount G drive because our clone is not our clone is not set up to cache files or do anything like that. So you're gonna be like, hey, I like G Drive. I mean, uh, our clone and point it, you're gonna get API bands. It doesn't really take much. I don't know, maybe about a few shows and it's done. Um, so make sure um, that you have to set up because again, it, this is all part of moving stuff. Now this is how we test the move. So there's a CD mount move. This is your local drive right here. Um, I think Union FS is down, so. Okay, but technically these are technically the same thing, but again, you're gonna have to watch the other video. So if I, it should still be able to move everything via our clone without Union FS. Okay, so I'm gonna do touch uh, chicken. Yeah, I know, wrong, wrong choice of words there. Uh, I just totally messed that up. Okay, so touch chicken, um, I'll do directory, it's there. You know what I mean? So um, these are just generic folders. So what happens is mount move, which we talked about earlier, I mean, uh, the, 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 ser uh, the service. So if I do system CTL, uh, 
system CTL status move, and this right here basically means you know your your services. Uh, it took a little while for me to wrap around, so we're going to check on move. But right now there's a sleep in effect, 480 seconds. We're not going to wait that long for this file to finish, so we're just going to go ahead and restart move. You don't have to do this. So you know every eight minutes your files are syncing to your Google Drive. So now we should see the status. See how it says stopped and started. That's good. Status. So what this service does for you again is it just moves your files every eight minutes. So that's where it's using our clone. So all you basically did was install our clone. You set up your keys and now when your files have not moved, Mount Union FS, same thing. Again, that's a whole nother video. Your files are now going to sync to your Google Drive. No effort for you. So, um, just check one more time. It's probably been about 30 seconds. And there you go. Look, it, it did it automatically. I didn't I didn't even have to even do anything. But you notice that it said it copied and it deleted it. See, so it removes it from your local computer. See? So now your hard drive is not gonna get all full. That's that's great. And you know it's a bad day when you have a small SSD and you notice it's gone because it's synced there. But if I check Google Drive, which is known as G Drive here, through our clone. There you go, Chicken TXT showed up. Um, again, I don't have Union FS set up right now, but if we type Union FS, it, it would show up. So, um, other than that, I hope that video was a little helpful for you. Uh, it's a lot to wrap around, but again, this is just a common sense video. You know, quick demo, off the hip, just talking it through, not making it overly nerdy, um, as others like to do. Um, I'm a firm believer in sharing knowledge and trying to simplify it down and make it easier what it is so again just do me a favor just like the video share it thumbs up I know I dreaded hearing that in, in many videos but now that I have it going it, it really does help um, because guess what by watching this video you are part of our community and uh, you know I do appreciate our clone uh, for making such a fabulous product thank you for your time